In today's video, I will teach you how to create a scar using a crack brush in GIMP. Let's get started. First, open the image where you want to apply the scar effect in GIMP. Then download the crack brush file and unzip it if necessary. And in GIMP, go to Edit, then Preferences, then expand the folders and select Brushes. Then click on the Open Brushes folder, then copy the downloaded brush file into this folder. Then go back to GIMP, then go to Windows, Dockable Dialogs, then Brushes to open the Brushes dialog. And in the Brushes dialog, click the Refresh button to load the new brushes. Now we're going to set up for the scar creation. Start by selecting the paintbrush tool from the toolbox. Then choose the crack brush from the brush options in the tool options panel. Then adjust the brush size and other parameters like opacity as needed for your scar effect. Then select the color that you want for the scar. Typically a darker shade of red or brown works well for scars. Now we're going to create a new layer. To do this, go to the Layers dialog, then click on the Create New Layer button at the bottom of the Layers panel. Then name the new layer Scar, and sell the Fill With option to Transparency, then click OK. With the Scar layer selected, use the Paintbrush tool to paint the scar onto your image. And you can also adjust the brush strokes to create the desired shape and texture of the scar. After painting the scar, go to Filters, Blur, then Gaussian Blur. Then set the radius to 1.5 and click OK. Now duplicate the scar layer by going to Layer, then Duplicate Layer in the Layers dialog, or simply by pressing shift Control d Then apply a Gaussian Blur to the duplicated layer again, but this time with a radius of 5. Then duplicate the original scar layer once more and apply a Gaussian Blur to the third duplicate with a radius of 10. Then duplicate the original scar layer once more and apply a Gaussian Blur to the fourth duplicate with a radius of 15. In the Layers dialog, select the topmost blurred scar layer, then click Merge Down to merge it with the layer directly below. Then repeat this process to merge all four scar layers into one. With the merged scar layer selected, change the blending mode to burn. Then adjust the opacity of the scar layer to blend it naturally with the underlying skin tones and textures. Then start with a lower opacity and increase it gradually until it looks realistic. To add more realism and blend the scar into the skin texture, go to Filters, Map, then Display. Then set the first input to the scar layer and the second input to the subject's layer. Then adjust the displacement values to see how it affects the scar's appearance. This step helps simulate how the scar interacts with the skin texture. And you can further refine the scar effect by experimenting with additional Gaussian blur, changing the scar layer's opacity, or trying different blending modes to see how they affect the scar's appearance under different lighting conditions. And once you're satisfied with the scar effect, you can save your image by going to File, then Export As, and set it to your desired format. By following these steps, you can create a realistic scar effect using a cracked brush and GIMP. If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, Turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.